the background to the ecumenical decade of churches in solidarity with women was the United Nations decade for women in 1975 till 1985. We had discovered in the ecumenical movement that the UN decade had absolutely no, no influence on the churches. Well, of course, it was the church's baptism, the baptismal tradition, that we are born and we are then baptized into a community of equals. And what does the decade mean for women who live under racism? As women who know the devastation caused by both racism and sexism, we stand as a challenge to the churches, to the movements against racial injustice, and to the movements against injustice against women. A challenge to stand for justice and in solidarity with us. We call on the churches in this time to reject institutional and cultural racism and sexism as sins and heresies of which the church must rid itself if we are to witness fully to God's liberating and reconciling power. I had a, an impression that at the end of the second year that we will be having a morning ceremony at the end of the decade because nothing was happening with the churches. But the encouragement with the women that they themselves will roll the stone away, I think is what has brought them here. I shall also never forget the desperate question of a young woman speaker at a seminar earlier on the same day. How can I believe in God when as a child I experienced that God did not send the white angel who was in the picture above my bed? When my father, who was the leader of the chapel, came in to me after I had said my evening prayers and sexually assaulted me. Whether we like it or not, the churches will never be the same. The decade of churches in solidarity with women was aiming at doing justice to women and uh, really undoing the violence against women in patriarchal structures, in racist structures, in uh, class structures and in uh, sexual structures that form a hierarchy that is not inclusive of all. We no longer have a decade project to depend on. We cannot use it as a crutch. We still have to create the spaces and keep up the energy because there is yet so much to be done. The thought of a decadeless future is full of challenge, but I also think it is full of hope. We are still at the crossroad of uh, determining what it means to be a community of women and men. When Galatians 3.28 says, therefore there is no Jew, no Gentile, no slave, no free, no male and female, but we are all one in Christ, what does that mean? We need, I think, to listen to young people more, to find out what it is that they are building that help them to understand their humanity as in all its diversity. And I ask myself why uh, questions of women's participation still become very difficult. Because we, why is it as women we, we feel that we would rather sacrifice ourselves rather than cause the upheaval when we raise issues that affect us. She touches, she changes, everything she touches changes. Touches, changes, changes, everything she touches changes. Touches, changes. Everything she touches